Amazing. So it is already 4 p.m. and let's start it. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for another Thursday uh, leadership event. So tonight we have a nice and amazing speaker and no spoilers, but she coming all the way from India. And right now, by the way, it is almost like 4.30 a.m. in the morning. So let's give a huge shout out because she's helping us for today uh, to share her wisdom and her knowledge. So she is the founder of Sunflower Community. It is a learning platform in support system that helps you find your voice and connect you with people. Also, she's a motivational speaker that helps people realize, realize, realize sorry, who they are, recognize what they are uh, capable of, and to reach their full potential. Her personality radiates hope, and she also leads some sessions for a variety of uh, people that it comes from education environment, business environment, for her goal to reach their full potential. So ladies and gentlemen, please let's give a big shout out to Miss Anmol Segal. Anmol, thank you so much to be here with us today. We fully appreciate, you know, this effort and your expertise and wisdom that you're sharing today. How are you? Thank you so much for this wonderful introduction. I was telling Alexis and Richard that I'm so excited. This is my, my first time uh, training an international audience. So I am super excited for this. And um, yeah, let's, uh, let's talk about leadership. So I am, let me introduce myself uh, once again. My name is Anmol and Anmol means priceless in Hindi. And uh, I am from India, uh, from the city of joy. So Kolkata is the city of joy. And here the most famous uh, sweet dish is Rasgulla. All right, this is some extra information about my city. I am a soft skills trainer. Uh, I teach topics related to mindset, attitude, behavior, and communication. And leadership is also one big part of soft skills. Uh, I'm going to be talking about it uh, in the presentation that I give. Um, and I am so happy again. Once again, I'm so happy to be here. This platform is a really great platform for um, speakers like me who want to uh, reach out to more and more people and help them become better versions of themselves. So it's my mission in life to empower people through soft skills. And thank you so much uh, for giving me the platform to reach out to people who live so far away from me. So till now, I've only, uh, I've only trained people across the country from various different cities in India. But this is the first time I'm doing it. Um, for an international audience. So I can't express how happy I am right now. Um, I would request all of you to please switch on your cameras. I would love to see your lovely faces while uh, doing this and interacting with you as much as I can. And um, I'll, just, I'll just share a presentation, a couple of slides. So this is for my reference. They're very boring. A lot of words on these slides. Do not look at that. Listen to me. I am more interesting than that. So uh, focus on me, not on the slides. That's just for my reference. It will give uh, uh, my presentation a little bit of structure. Yeah. Uh, can you see my uh, screen? Yes. Yep. All right. So um, I spoke to uh, Emmanuel and I spoke to Angel uh, in Jan, I think. And uh, that was very long ago. And this is something that I decided to talk about. Uh, I think all of us have great potential to be leaders. So all of us can be leaders and can lead ourselves to success. We don't need uh, people in positions of authority. We don't need people uh, with a lot of experience. We don't need uh, so guidance from people with a lot of experience is great. That's invaluable. But we need to take action. We need to lead ourselves. We need to be a leader in ourselves to um, lead ourselves to success. All of us want to be successful, right? Right? Uh, so yeah. Yes. So it, is our, it is our responsibility to do that. 
so I want to ask all of you, how many of you have been in leadership position? Have you ever uh, been a captain of a team? Have you ever uh, been um, in the student council? Have you ever headed a department? How many of you have been uh, in a leadership position? Angel has. Yes? Yes. Alexis yes. as well. Right? So, yes. Uh, yes. So what does it feel like being a leader? Um, it feels good. Uh, you know, you're, um, you're put into position to making many decisions and, um, in viewing people in, um, in a very different ways, because I believe that, that every person holds something unique that others don't have. Mm -hmm. So then it's putting their, their power into, into, into use, you know, and it's pretty much for their greatness, you know, but it really, I believe it really expands your, um, your mindset and it just makes you think so much more so much more higher than than you usually did you know yes yes exactly you feel responsible for everyone on your team yeah and, exactly um, yeah yes and you you feel a sense of ownership right this is your team and the success of your team really matters so you you care about every single member and uh, you want to achieve the goal that you have set out to, right? Yeah, so, exactly. Yes. But sometimes you even feel very burdened with a lot of responsibility. So you are responsible for yourself and so many other people. You feel accountable for yourself and for your entire team in front of others, right? So sometimes yeah. it feels like a lot of burden. But just imagine if every person on your team was a leader in himself or herself. If they were responsible, they were accountable for their own actions. If they uh, were self-motivated, if they took ownership of whatever they were uh, supposed to do or they should do, it would be such a great thing if everyone found the leader within. Right? Exactly. So I, yeah. Yes. yes. So I'm going to be uh, talking about how you can do that. What should you practice? How should you practice leadership? That's what, uh, oh. what I'm going to be covering today. Oh. It's going to be really exciting. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really excited to learn. Great. Great. What makes a leader? Is it experience? Do you think people with a lot of experience, people who are... Um, uh, you know, old and have worked in the uh, workforce for a very long time, do you think experience makes a leader? Is that the only thing? Um, well, I never really had experience when, um, when having a leadership position. Uh, but Angel and other people were the ones that motivated me and introduced me to... Um, to to being involved in um in these type of organizations and so i believe that you know if you have those people that support you and if you put yourself in learning i feel that you'll you'll naturally gain that experience and you'll just um constantly um um start becoming um better in different areas so really you don't need like much experience but you just have to be willing to learn to gain those um, those um, necessary skills. Yes. Yes, so you need to put yourself out there, come out of your comfort zone, take action and learn. Make mistakes and learn from those mistakes. So you need to constantly be doing things. Right? So experience doesn't, uh, a lot of experience doesn't uh, ensure that the person will have good leadership qualities. That is not something that makes a leader, makes a good leader. Uh, is it authority just because you've been given the authority to lead a team just because you've been made the manager does that does that make you a good leader it doesn't because you know it's just uh, you might not have the best interest of your team uh, in mind and you might not be empowering your team there are a lot of things that you need to keep in mind and you might be ignoring most of that so just because you've been made manager by uh, by the top management of the company that you're working in, it doesn't make you uh, a good leader. Is it the title? Is 
the title of a manager or a big designation does that make you a leader that doesn't make you a leader right it's just the title if you don't act like a leader if you don't act like a manager if you don't act if you're not there to guide your team it's just it's just a name it's just a title right so your actions speak louder than whatever uh, title is given to you so all these three things people think that these three things matter but they don't matter when it comes to leadership um when when freshers go into co uh, corporates when people start working after completing their schooling and their college when they finally enter the real world they feel uh, very scared they feel like they need to follow someone they need to uh, they wait to um, get instructions from people they wait for guidance they wait to figure out what is it that they're supposed to do most people don't don't know that they have all of this in control they're not very proactive because they feel like they have to wait for someone to tell them what to do but instead of that if you if you took the responsibility of figuring out so so when you go to work and instead of waiting for your team leader to tell you what to do if you figured it out and if you keep on moving forward if you if you learn one new thing every day if you figure out what is it that you want to be doing uh and start taking action towards it then then this extra guidance will be helpful to you but you will be self driven you will be a leader in yourself and you would be doing so much more than is expected out of you so when you're working in a team when you're working under someone most people they become very complacent they they um they become very lazy and they just do how much is expected out of them or how much is expected out of her they will not do anything extra right but as a leader you you know what your purpose is what mission you are on you know what you have to achieve out of this right so you will constantly be walking towards the top of the mountain so if the top of the mountain is a success your idea of success you need to keep on walking till there so uh, a leader is someone who knows what his or her mission is and keeps on taking action to the top of the mountain a leader will set milestones so goals are the milestones you set and with each milestone you achieve you find the motivation so uh, setting goals is a way to keep yourself motivated when you accomplish a goal you feel a sense of happiness you see, you feel you feel like you achieved something and you don't you feel like you can go, go a few more steps or you can achieve the next goal what is on the next level so if you keep on setting smart goals and achieving each goal one at a time you will find the motivation to keep moving ahead because the journey to the top of the mountain is a, a long journey right so you need to keep on giving yourself the the feeling of accomplishment so that you you feel motivated to reach the top of the mountain so these are these are a few things that you keep you need to do in order to be a leader for yourself so that you can benefit out of it the most all managers are leaders but all uh, leaders are not managers right so you can you can be starting out you can be a part of someone else's team usually when people start out they get into they get jobs they are a part of someone else's team right so first you are expected to gain a lot of experience and then move on to a managerial position so you can be a leader even when you're just starting out yes so i've made leadership into an acronym and uh, these are the things that you can do to practice leadership and i've broken it down for all of you so i was uh, speaking to my sunflower community as richard uh, included that in my introduction what i did last saturday was i sat with my community and we spoke about leaders we spoke about good leaders bad leaders we spoke about what are the kind of leaders we want to follow we spoke about the people that um that were not good leaders were in managerial positions but they really spoiled um people's first job experience 
right they really they they did not um, act as good leaders they were good they were managers but they did not act as good leaders so i got a lot of insights from them as well i'm sure even you have a lot of uh, things to share so uh, does anyone want to share um, what kind of leader or or an influence uh, that they really look up to it it can be a, a sports uh, captain it can be some celebrity uh, leader it can be someone from your real life that you really look up to and uh, yeah so does anyone want to share anything no yeah for After sure oh yeah you, oh. go ahead go ahead oh sorry um well what i look in a leader is a empathetic leader um cuz i mean everyone goes through different situation and especially right now like during the pandemic like like all the professors that have been really helpful those are the ones that students like actually like show up to class and even turn on the cameras and show how everyone is um helping each other out during during hard times and um seeing that in a leader like it's it's um empowering you could say empowering. yes 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 empathy is very important a lot of time you are uh, you expect your leaders to understand your situation so sometimes uh, like for example uh, i was working in a place where my leader did not understand my needs so i needed more training and um, i wasn't guided well enough uh, to do the task that was given to me to do so freshers when they're just starting off people who are who have just completed college and are working in corporates or working wherever they are they don't have a lot of work experience so they don't know how to do a lot of things so those people need extra hand holding they need that extra um, support and guidance so a good leader would understand that you know this person does not have the the needed experience and will need that extra time from that leader to reach wherever they expect them the, to come up to the standard they're expecting out of that person so a lot of times at least uh, uh, in the conversation that i had with the sunflower community a lot of people did not have that in their first jobs so they they ended up leaving it very early they did not they did not, they did not even stick around for 6 months or a year because the leaders were not very helpful they did not understand that this is what my team needs so um as a result of that conversation um uh, and i think i've heard it way too many times people don't leave jobs they leave bad leadership they leave bad bosses that like they do not end up leaving the job it's not the job requirement because you're learning on the on the on the job it's not what is expected out of you to do but bad leadership not enough guidance not enough support is what uh, makes people leave their job uh, so yeah let's start let's talk about this how can you practice being a leader in yourself so the first thing is learner right practice learning um so what is learning learning is exploring things that you are not aware about exploring the unknown if you have people constantly talking about the things that you know about already you will not grow so exploring the unknown is something that everyone should do actively um when you're when you're working each day try to learn something new something that you don't know before because you're you you have you've read up about a lot of things there are a lot of facts that you might already know but that is just a very small percentage of what there is out there and what you need in order to be successful you need a lot of knowledge and a lot of experience to be successful right so just having that limited knowledge will will not get you anywhere if every day you take make a conscious decision that today i will figure out something new i will learn something new then you you will be proactively working towards achieving your goals so every day just figure out what is it and it can be something fun right it can be something really cool it can be something that is in the next level right so um i i know this person i was working with this person when i was doing recruitment 
and um, he was new in the team and within within just a week he got the hang of what he had to do and then he started helping other people out so he started training the newcomers just in one week so he wasn't asked to do that but he he took the initiative he went up to his team leader and said that i would like to help out i would like to take up this responsibility right so um this is one way so learning how to do different things so he learned how to train as well right he took that step and did something extra took extra responsibility and learned how to do that right so that is one way you can learn learning doesn't just restrict don't restrict yourself to just reading or uh, you know researching about something you can actually take up more and more responsibility because ultimately you want to move up the ladder right so this is one thing people who so i struggle with reading i'm someone who can't read a lot i prefer having conversations networking with people really helps me so i ask them directly if you if you are someone from a different field i will prefer speaking to you rather than reading up about it so you have to decide how is it that you can learn more uh if you if you can read if you have that kind of attention span and if you can read a book that is great but if not you can find out your own way to do it yes be curious so if if you are given a task to do do not just take it without uh, asking questions ask as many questions as you can to gain more clarity it, a lot of times people your leaders will not or your managers will not um, think that you need clarification but you, you need to constantly ask questions what is it how am i supposed to do this is this the only way to do whatever you've asked me to do you know what what will um, happen if i do this task how will i be contributing to the success of the organization good leaders are supposed to do this for you they're supposed to tell you on their own but if they don't then you know what to ask you can ask them yourself how how am i how is this going to help you or how is this going to help the organization so ask as many questions as you can to get, to gain more clarity as to why you're doing what you're doing second is uh, practice leading by example so um people uh people they follow uh what they see more than what they hear so if even you you'll um, i i'm th- i'm sure that you're going to be able to relate to this a lot of times your friends come to you and they ask you yeah ask you for advice and you spend a lot of time and energy giving them advice but uh they don't end up doing whatever you said because uh people don't usually end up you know listening to advice but if you if you do it if you act as an example if they see you doing whatever you said they will follow you right if you're if you're trying to motivate someone to work out and if you yourself are not working out they will not follow you if they see you working out if you yourself are living whatever you're talking you're living the truth your truth and you're owning it and you're you're showing it to them this is what i'm doing these are the benefits of working out they will also end up following what you're doing right so a good leader leads by example you don't need to convince people to do things you do whatever it is you feel right and people will end up following you so uh, leaders have the power to inspire inspire emotions thoughts and actions as well and change um so yeah preaching giving advice it doesn't help more often than not people just listen to whatever you're saying from one year and they take it out from the next and they just they just forget about what you said and most and most most times you feel like you've wasted your time and energy in ex- trying to explain things to them then practice empathy yeah we were talking about empathy earlier and uh, being able to put yourself in someone else's shoes is what empathy is being empathetic to the people around you is uh, something that will really help you lead them 
right? Understanding their situation, um, understanding what they need. A, a, a good leader knows what his or her team needs, right? You, if you are practicing leadership every day, you will know what your team members, you being a part of a team, what they need from you. So being able to do that is something which will really help you be more successful and be a better leader. How can you do this? You can do this by firstly being vulnerable. Uh, people who are who are comfortable with being vulnerable, they make everyone else around them feel at ease. They they help people open up. So if you yourself are are not afraid of being vulnerable, and uh, you encourage people to open up and be truthful and be themselves at all times. Uh, the the lines of communication will open. People will open up more, and you will understand why they're doing what they're doing, instead of just assuming things in your head. So, if you are vulnerable, if you are someone who um, is completely themselves in front of the people that they're working with, a lot of people will find confidence in you, will confide in you, and will be able to open up in front of you. So, being vulnerable uh, is a good thing. Then listen, uh, yeah. Listen and ask questions. So listen to listen to not just what they're saying. Uh, communication consists of three elements. One is uh, your body language. Second is your tone of voice, and third is words. So fifty-five percent importance is given to your body language. Thirty-eight uh, percent importance is given to your tone of voice, and only seven percent is your words. So, when you're communicating with people, try to notice all these elements about them. Their words hold the least amount of importance. Their facial expressions speak louder than their words. the The tone of voice, their pitch, will tell you what is it that is exactly going on in their head. So, look for these cues to understand what people are saying and understand them better. Then uh, practice a uh, mindfulness. So a lot of times you're very distracted, thinking about other things. But that shouldn't be the case when you're interacting with other people. So when people are talking, when when you are with other people discussing something, you need to be in the present, and you need to ask questions. You need to show genuine interest and understand what is it that is happening. Uh, then be an assertive communicator. Practice assertive communication. So, um, a lot of times leaders are aggressive communicators. Aggressive communicators are those who feel like they are right and everyone else around them is wrong, right? Uh, so they do not. They're not open to listen to other people's ideas. They feel like they're the best, and uh, they take all the decisions for the people around them. So. Those are aggressive communicators. Passive communicators are those who will accept everyone else's ideas but never speak up for themselves. So, if you're a passive communicator, it will be very difficult for you to be in a leadership position because you yourself are not sure of what you want, and you yourself are not standing up for yourself. Assertive communicators are those who stand up for their ideas, stand up for what they want. But also are open to other people's ideas. They respect what other people have to say. So they they are accepting of other people's ideas and they take everyone's uh, thoughts and uh, you know whatever they've said into consideration before taking a decision. So an assertive leader, an assertive communicator, is the best kind of leader, right? They're uh, they're not so. Aggressive leaders, they usually end up getting very isolated. People start getting annoyed with what they they're doing, or they're very scared, and ultimately leave. They don't want to be around these people who are very very aggressive and want things to happen just their way. Passive leaders are not able to guide other people. They're not able to lead by example. They're not able to give their uh, uh give their teammates what they want. A sort of communicators are ones who are confident, who are self-confident, and uh, believe in whatever they their ideas are to be true and to be, you know, something that they should stand up for, 
but they're open to change as well. So they're open to other people's ideas and they want to integrate everyone's ideas into something that everyone would want to, uh, you know, everyone would be happy with. So uh, be an assertive communicator. Then practice decisiveness. Be brave, take decisions, continually move forward. Even if you don't have uh, full clarity as to why you should do this or what the outcome is going to be like, sometimes you just need to take action. So take decisions and take action. Uh, take decisions to take action every single day. Right? If, if you do not try to gain as much clarity as you can by researching or by doing other things, but it's important for you to do things and make mistakes in order to gain experience. Experience is the most a uh, valuable uh, source of learning right if you fall and you experience you make a mistake and you fall uh, you you will gain so much out of it right so taking action is the key to in order to reach wherever you uh, wherever you want to reach so keep on moving forward keep on taking decisions don't wait around too much uh, for things to work out for you you need to make things happen. Uh, um, make good decisions with a mixture of analysis, wisdom, experience, and judgment. Uh, all of these things should be kept in mind. Analyze whatever it is that you want to be doing. Um, you, can, you can ask people for help. You can ask for advice as well. You, you can back yourself, back your decisions with your experience and your own judgment. Practice empowering. Yes, this is this is extremely important. Practice empowering your team members. So reminding people of their strengths, uh, reminding yourself of your strengths, empower yourself, empower the people around you. I was a part of this uh, women empowerment uh, program where there were so many women who were uh, working towards finding answers to the unanswered questions. And uh, there was a leader who instead of giving everyone a chance to utilize their skills and gain more experience was calling all the shots right so it was an empowerment program but no one was getting empowered in the team in itself right so that was that was a bad call on the part of the leader uh, because uh, a women empowerment project would, would have been great if the women you know uh, organizing the project would feel empowered right so uh, empower the people around you if someone is feeling inadequate not performing up to the mark just remind them of their strengths a lot of times people forget whatever value they bring to the table so remind them of all they all they can do and help them uh, you know uh, take action you yourself take a lot of action you, you yourself keep reminding yourself of who you are and how successful you are, how long you've come and remind them of the same so that they do more things and they become more successful. So all of these things, whatever I've been covering, it's it's got to do with you empowering yourself, you taking decisions for yourself, you being decisive for yourself, you uh, learning for yourself and you can do this and remind other people around you to do the same. Right? So empower yourself and the people um, around you. Then uh, what do we have next? We have realism. Uh, so, yeah. Dreaming big. Dreaming big is necessary. Having a big vision is, is a good thing. But you need to understand, you need to keep on constantly uh, evaluate or introspect where you currently stand. So your current situation should be clear to you. Your your dreams can be as big as possible and you will be able to achieve them. But you need to know, you need to be self-aware. You need to know what are the steps you need to take in order to reach there. So be realistic about where you are. Be realistic when you're setting goals. Uh, constant reflection will help you uh, 
yes constant uh, reflection will help you uh, know know your current situation be self aware and uh, when when you are realistic when you reflect when when you reflect your uh, current situation you will know what is it you have to do to reach wherever you want to reach practice self confidence so uh, i am going to give you four tools to be more confident the first one is take action so whenever you are feeling hesitant whenever you know that doing this action will um, teach you something or will be uh, in will be good for you instead of hesitating instead of taking a step back take a step forward tell yourself to just go do it so a lot of times you know sending out that email sending out that connection request we feel very hesitant we feel like we will not be able to get a positive response from the other person or it is not our place to say something or it is or you know we've made a mistake in the past and our brain is telling us that uh, if we do this again we will not be successful in this so our brain is just trying to protect ourselves our mind is telling us don't do this don't get out of your comfort zone because you might not be successful in whatever it is that you're uh, you're wanting to do or whatever action is uh, is it that you're wanting to do so instead of listening to that voice tell yourself to just go do it motivate yourself and just take that one step forward like i said making mistakes is a good thing because you gain experience out of it so even if it doesn't uh, work in your favor just keep on moving forward so because to 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 reach the top of the mountain you need to keep on walking right to so keep keep taking steps ahead one step ahead of the other every single day second thing is set goals set smart goals so goals act as um a uh, goal act uh, give you direction they they give you a proper um, motivation as well so every time you achieve a goal you feel motivated you set, you feel a sense of accomplishment you feel good about yourself and it gives you motivation to keep on moving ahead so keep on uh, setting goals for you set short term goals as well as long term goals your short term goals will give you enough uh, drive will give you enough uh, motivation to keep on moving ahead then dress to win right you can use dressing as a resource to be more confident um so is clothing and is confidence interrelated do you think both clothing and confidence are interrelated to each other oh yes. um was that a question yes. yes yes oh um can you repeat it again clothing and confidence do you think they're interrelated yeah yeah i feel like when you're like for example uh even if you're like a haircut or having your beard done but also then you know being dressed in a way that you feel empowered i feel that it brings out the best um the best um um personality and behavior out of you because you're feeling so so much and it's like it kind of empowers you to think that you're capable of doing anything really you're more like a superhero you could do this and that because you feel so good for yourself the way that you're dressed you know so i feel like it does have some type of empowerment effect on you yes yes i agree you can use uh, alexis you wanted to say something uh yes so when it comes to dress i don't know i've i've seen a couple of examples where um just because of um the way that someone presents themselves they're more congruent with who they are so if you know let's say if there's a firefighter and he puts on something that's um that's something uh so he could survive a fire um he'll probably feel confident that and let's say he had, his grandfather was a firefighter but like this is me opposed to him putting a suit on and maybe not so much you know mm -hmm. so i I've, i've seen it where um if you present uh who you truly are and um uh, who you feel like um you are i think that's where um i saw it, i see it kick in yes yes so there are four a's uh, that you can keep in mind when you're choosing your clothing that will help you feel more empowered through your clothing all right so what alexis is talking about is authenticity so when whatever whoever you are on the inside if you're dressing that way on the outside you feel more empowered 
if uh, if you are someone who values uh, comfort right and if if you are if you are asked to wear something which is very uncomfortable very stylish to look at but very uncomfortable you will not feel empowered in those clothing like you will feel very ill at ease you will not feel like yourself so uh, authenticity is something that you 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 should keep in mind then appropriateness so your clothing should be appropriate for the occasion that you're uh, if you're going for an event if you're going for a wedding then wearing casuals just wearing a, a track suit will not be something that you know you will feel comfortable in if you're underdressed for an occasion an event you yourself will not want to spend a lot of time there you will want to get back home as soon as possible because you are not because you will be getting the wrong kind of attention so people you will feel like you have all eyes on you and you will want to get out of that situation as soon as possible then if you are if you are um, going for um, let's say um, if you are going for a, a day event and if you are wearing very dark colors or, or uh, like uh, in a day event usually people wear lighter shades they wear uh, you know uh, lighter colors but if you are if you are very dressed up for a day event where people are very casually dressed then again you will feel out of place if you going for an interview wearing jeans not wearing a proper blazer and you if you see everyone in the waiting room wearing uh, trousers wearing the formal expected you know uh, attire um, a sh- a shirt a blazer trousers and you are you come in wearing jeans you will be communicating the wrong kind of uh, message to the interviewer so the interviewer will feel like you're not interested enough for the job right you will be communicating that so um, you you need to be dressed appropriately at all times appropriate authentic the third is attractive so by attractive i don't mean stylish by attractive i mean uh, the right style so your clothing should be the right size whatever you're wearing at home and you're comfortable in that's fine but when you're stepping outside uh if you are wearing something that is too tight you constantly think that you know i should have worn something else you constantly think that other people are looking at you not in, not in the right way uh you feel like people are noticing that you are wearing something which is too small or sometimes sometimes you are wearing something which is too large for you right and that also doesn't make you feel very confident it's it's not the right size and you so like i said uh 55% weightage is given to your body language so whenever we are we are silent whenever we are not talking then also we are we are communicating at all times as human beings communicate at all times so people notice your appearance more and and that's the first thing that they notice when you step into the room uh, it takes only 7 seconds to create a first impression right so uh, even before you said the first word people have made uh, a, a judgment about you and they do it unconsciously so you you yourself you do that and whenever you step out uh, wearing uh, wearing clothes which are not the right size then you feel like other people are judging you and they miss judging you it uh, this whatever you you're wearing your appearance is not something that speaks about you speaks the right message about you so uh, wear the right size of clothing uh, make sure that make sure that your clothes are ironed before you step out right a lot of times we wear crushed we, we don't have the time and we want something that is crushed and then we're constantly thinking about that if our clothing is not up to the mark we are very unproductive because we're constantly thinking about our clothing so um, all of these things your clothing should not not be crushed it should be ironed it should be the right size so that is what makes it look attractive then uh, and whenever you are purchasing clothes so the fourth a is affordable right so uh, it's not necessary to uh, invest a lot in all or luxury brands or you know branded clothes are not uh, needed to be appropriate to be authentic and to be attractive right it's not so you know your budget and you know there are so many different e-commerce websites or so many different kinds of stores so it's not necessary that you spend a lot of money uh, in buying these clothes so dress to win 
and keep all of these things in mind and spend a good amount of time every day uh, to empower yourself through your clothing right you you can every single day even if you're at home if you dress if you dress up for yourself you feel more motivated to work that day so every single yeah. day spend half an hour and uh, empower yourself through your clothing and the fourth thing uh, that oh. you can do is upload positive mind films so i've come up with this uh, word called muaflix uh, how many of you see netflix how many of you stream you do yeah you watch movies on netflix tv tv shows on netflix so do i yeah so yeah. uh yeah so what is netflix it's an ott platform right uh where you can stream movies and tv uh, tv shows uh, similarly your mental hard drive you can treat it as an ott platform where you upload films so you you so your negative films your negative experiences are very easy to access right so whenever you're trying to do something instantly your mind will tell you that this is something you tried earlier and it did not work out for you so don't do it right so negative your bad experiences the mistakes you made and the things that you feel can go wrong are very easily accessible so instead of accessing those mind films upload positive mind films on your mental hard drive upload positive mind films on your uh, mental ott platform how can you do that after this please make a list of all your success stories so you are already very successful if you look back if you look and see you've come a long way right you from since when you were a child you did not uh, come into the world knowing things right you experienced a lot of things you made a lot of mistakes and you you've come a long way right so making a note of all your success stories is very important because whenever you're feeling nervous whenever you're feeling underconfident you can look at that list and you can remind yourself that i was successful then i did something i tried something and it worked out for me and it can work out again so if you enter something thinking that this is not going to work out if you enter into an interview thinking that this is something that you're not going to be able to crack then you will not do it because there's so much negativity right think about positive things that have happened to you in the past you will feel more confident so uh, being self confident is very important for a leader because you have to have faith in yourself to uh, achieve that goal whatever you set out to so keep on keep on taking action setting smart goals dressing to win and uploading positive mind films And Ma, I was going to um, ask if we could transition into Q and A only because we uh, have like only ten minutes left. Is that okay, okay or okay? Okay. Uh, awesome. Can I can I quickly complete the entire leadership? I'll just take two more minutes and then uh, we can do the Q and A. For sure. All right. Uh, so asking for help is not a bad thing. A lot of times we set out uh, on uh, things and we do not have. uh the resources or we don't have the knowledge to uh, achieve whatever mission we are on and it's okay to ask for help it's okay to ask for guidance so put your ego aside and ask for help whenever is required because that is also a learning process you get to learn from other people and uh, your mission should be more important your team should be more important than your ego right so your goals should be right in front of you and you you need to ask if you need to ask for help be humble about it it's it's not so what is humility when you don't give yourself a lot of importance and uh, you give your mission or your team more importance than yourself that is humility for me so be as humble as uh, possible and ask for help whenever required collaborate with other people so you have a set, set of skills and there are other people who have uh, their own skill set you can come together and create something which is bigger than yourself that right? you can create something so One plus one makes eleven. Two people with different skill sets can come together and create something very big. So um, don't don't uh, have that kind of a notion that you're the best and you know everything because that's not true. Uh, you can you can really benefit out of collaborating and working with other people. 
then practice integrity uh, be honest at all times uh, have strong moral values uh, so if you're doing the right things people are noticing you at all times so people are making judgments about you and if if you're doing something the wrong way uh, others will not be able to trust you you will not have a very good reputation so uh, it builds trust it it people who do the right thing who are who are uh, who practice integrity uh, get a lot of um, you know have a have a lot of goodwill have good reputation and uh, they they are trusted by all so uh, practice uh, or being honest and moral values then practice proactivity that's the last uh, letter of leadership proactivity take initiative take steps uh go out of your way uh to do things if you're meeting someone new be the first one to introduce yourself don't wait for the other person to feel comfortable and approach you so be the first one to do that whenever there is a project that is announced be the first one to grab uh you know the chance to do it uh so being the first who is a leader who is ahead of other people right so be a leader in the in the uh, right sense of the word actually go ahead and be the first person in line to do whatever it is that is uh, put out there and uh, take control so you uh, like i said when you're when you're you, when you're starting out or when, whenever you're working with a new set of people uh, don't wait for others to dictate what is expected out of you you yourself take control and think of what goals you have and keep on working towards it you don't need to wait for other people to tell you what what you have to do and you know uh, don't uh, don't be a reactive person be a proactive person take things into your own control so uh, this is it lead yourself to success be a leader in yourself and lead yourself to success thank you so at this point we are going to go into q and a um i just want to give a uh, Quick shout out to the new uh, chapters that are emerging from uh, evolution leadership. So, um, thank you for everyone who came from uh, Cal State Dominguez Hills EOL. And if anybody came from the LA chapter that's um, starting off soon, thank you for coming as well. And um, yeah, uh, if anybody has any questions, let's get into it. As our CEO, Angel Roman says, do not come at once. <laughs> any questions? Come on at once. I just want to say that I loved your speech. Um, the way that um, you believe that um, you know people should take the initiative to um, to empower themselves, and really, um, I've been thinking in ways that that I could put myself in places that that um, that I think that I don't know that I may feel comfortable. But then again, it's uh, is the places where where I could grow. So then um, that's been on my mind lately, you know, and like, cause I've been feeling that I've been wanting to be part of something new, you know, and, um, and grow and learn. So yeah, I've been looking at different places where, where I feel that, um, that I should, you know, just try something new, you know, get out of my comfort zone. And, um, and yeah, and I loved, you know, um, everything that you said. Um, I really, it was very satisfying for me to hear you speak about it and know that I um, intern, um, internalized it and I'll put everything you said in practice. And, um, and thank you again for being here. Um, I'm very glad to be part of these sessions because, you know, I get to listen to speakers like you. So, um, so thank you again for, you know, for taking the time to speak to us today. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I'm so glad that you found some value in whatever I said. And uh, yeah, take control of your own life and keep on taking action towards uh, achieving success. And even if you don't know where success is, you don't know your vision, keep on trying new things out. So it is, it is your responsibility towards yourself to figure out what is it that you have to do. And everyone figures it out in their own sweet time. So give yourself the time to figure out whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing and uh, try as many things as possible something will click something right. will click for you yes thank you so much thank you most welcome any other question
would you be dropping your information on the chat to contact you if if um if possible but it, I'll, I'll drop in my linkedin uh oh, okay. link yes okay all right make a question any other question no so i'll make one hopefully my question is going to be the the last one <laughs> so um miss and mall thank you so much to be here you know to take the time i know you know how early it's in there we fully appreciate it so in base of your expertise and your wisdom and experience you know in life what is the best advice you can tell us you know to approach to negative leaders okay so um approach to negative leaders if you identify a leader in yourself there their uh, negative traits or whatever they are doing wrong will not affect you so if you practice leadership every day if you practice whatever i've written down uh you you're going to be moving ahead and you're going to be leading yourself it's not it's not someone else's it's a good thing a lot of times it's a great thing to have good leaders but you might not be lucky uh in every every internship that you do or every job that you take or every uh, situation that you are in so instead of you know giving someone else the responsibility of doing that if you take it up yourself then bad leadership will not affect you it will not uh, it will not uh, be a source of a problem because you yourself would be so motivated and you you would be reaching out you know for uh, for whatever it is that you have to you want to uh, be doing so then then it won't be a big problem so we we do we we're not not all of us are blessed with good bosses not all, all of us are blessed with uh, uh people who will invest a lot of time people who are very empathetic people who will constantly work extra hours so that you uh, reach uh, your your destination or you achieve your goals because something so uh, a leader is someone who has to invest a lot of extra uh, energy into the team as well right so some people do not understand the importance of that and might not be you know that opinion so if you yourself are a leader and if you instead of so let that person be the way they are you uh, lead yourself and the people around you you be that person Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. I fully appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you. Any other question? Mm, let's see. Nope. I think we have time for one more and then we have to close. Um, I have I actually have a comment. Yes. So um you were right on the part that um what you wear um can sometimes help you in a way and can help um empower yourself and for women in some cases that would mean like you know doing a little bit extra makeup um putting on jewelry um maybe even having your lucky charm bracelet or something you know or an outfit that always has you inspired and it, it's the image that is drawn in your mind that that you identify yourself as like the ideal self version of yourself and i i've noticed that but um i've never really put in consideration that many times that can affect our performance you know and as a future speaker um i'm noticing that sometimes i may not like um put my appearance as much in from importance but um thank you for putting that out and i will for sure take my my figure and put more more attention into the appearance the image that i am formulating of myself because it is important to me now that you've mentioned it thank you uh so also be authentic at all times so if you're someone who doesn't want to wear a lot of makeup that's all right if you're someone who uh you know doesn't want to wear dresses if you're someone who's more comfortable in some other kind of an attire 
uh, that's completely all right. Uh, it's just whatever you are inside should reflect outside. And uh, you should know, uh, my purpose of saying this was, you're sending out messages every single time. You're, if someone, someone is looking at you, uh, they're, they're forming a ju- judgment uh, about you. So uh, if you, for example, like an interview example, if, you, if you're going in for an interview and you're not dressed uh, like someone who wants, is serious about the job, if you're dressed in casuals, not wearing formals, and if, if uh, what is the protocol is to wear a shirt, a blazer, and trousers, and if you're not wearing that, then, and, and if you see everyone else dressed that way, you yourself will constantly be thinking about that instead of what answers you have to give or whatever it is that you have to communicate to the interviewer. So it really helps you in a way, but it shouldn't change your identity. So you be as authentic as possible at all times. Thank you so much. Thank you. Awesome. So it is uh, five o'clock already. And uh, just to be, um, you know, just to be mindful of people's time, uh, we are going to close. Um, and thank you again uh, for everybody for, for coming. Um, and Mal, uh, thank you for coming as well and presenting. Um, is there anything uh, uh, you'd like to say um, before we close as well? Um, so I would like to, uh, I mean, my entire presentation was about empowering yourself and the people around you, not waiting around for uh, someone else to do that for you. And uh, with more leaders out there, if, if there are uh, everyone with that kind of mindset, leadership is a mindset, it's an attitude that you carry. So uh, with more leaders, a lot of things that are going wrong around you uh, will uh, be solved because everyone will be taking charge. So take charge is what I meant to say. Take charge of your own life and uh, be, be proactive, be uh, in a position uh, where uh, you know you don't have to depend on others for things and constantly be motivated and taking action because all of us like I said want to be successful all of us want to achieve something and uh, it is completely up to you so the more you work towards it the uh, the sooner you will achieve or you'll arrive at your destination so all I want to say all the best to all of you and uh, yeah, keep keep taking action, keep keep on moving ahead. And uh, thank you so much for listening to me. And this was this was indeed a very great experience for me. Thank you. Amazing. That's so amazing. So Take care, guys. A... Go ahead, buddy. All right. So we're gonna say bye-bye. Thank you so much to our leaders here present. Miss uh, just, just one second. Can I take one photograph of my social media? Go because I would like, I would like to brag about this. So, <laughs> one one photograph. If everyone could please switch on their cameras. All right. One two three cheese. Acha. All right. Yeah. Smile. Yes. Thank you so much. I'm so in the name of BOL, we send you a, hu- a huge hug, Ms. Segal. Thank you so much to share your wisdom and your expertise. we see you next time and have an amazing one, all our leaders. Thank you so much to be part of this platform. Thank you so much.